Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. It is October 1st, 2015. It's a cloudy day. We're not getting a whole lot of solar input here, only 11 watts. Uh, what I've done is, uh, you might have watched in my previous video where I stripped down the Yeti 400 and I removed the uh, inverter. And I tried to repair the, the fuse, the red fuse on the inverter. Well, at the end of that video, the inverter was still fried. Right? Like I was hitting the AC button here, and um, when I did that, I heard a popping sound. It immediately shut right back off. I did it three times. The last time I did it, I got the magic smoke, and I heard like a crackling sound. So, scary stuff. I didn't want a fire hazard. So, what I did was I removed the inverter. You can see my fingers go right in there. Normally, there's this uh, aluminum heat sink in there. And this is, in fact, the inverter that I removed. And you can see there, uh, the fuse, the red fuse, is not blown. So that last time, I clearly shorted something on the board because it didn't even blow the fuse. The first two times, it blew the fuse. Um, anyway, so, you know, I just thought it would be interesting to show you guys that it is indeed possible to remove the inverter from the, the Goal Zero Yeti 400 and still have solar input, so the charge controller is definitely in this upper panel here. It's in the, uh, the LCD panel, not down in, in the inverter. So I've got my solar panels going in, and I've still got my Anderson connectors on the side as well. So that's pretty cool. And then finally, let's see, I've got this cool chart uh, from, man, I, I don't know the name of the website. I'll, I'll put it up above. Uh, but anyway, this is a, like a government study that they did from like the 1970s to the 1990s. It says 1961 to 1990 average. And uh, this is for Chattanooga, Tennessee. This is the town that I live in. And it's interesting because I was, I was curious like what my tilt for my solar panels should be. And apparently for my latitude, I think my latitude is like 35 degrees or something. For my latitude, uh, there are two months that are transition months. And these, are, these are tracking here. We don't want tracking. So we're just interested in uh, flat plate collectors facing south at a fixed tilt, right? So if you look here, if you pan down this column for October, it's got 4.9 for latitude plus 15 degrees. And again, I think my latitude is 35.03 degrees. So that's like, uh, oh, so October you can pick either, either latitude, which is 35 degrees, or latitude plus 15, which is... Uh, 40, 45 degrees, no, 50 degrees, sorry. Uh, for November through February, you should pick latitude plus 15 degrees, which is 50 degrees in my case. So, and then by March, it is latitude again, which is 35 degrees. And then by April, it is, yeah, latitude minus 15. So that's gonna be like 20 degrees, right? And it stays latitude minus 15 all throughout the summer months, except perhaps June. Yeah, pretty much all throughout the summer months. And then by October again, you're starting to transition down to latitude. So anyway, I just thought this chart was kind of interesting and uh, you know, maybe you find it useful. I found it useful. I'm gonna try to think of some clever way to tilt my panels because right now they're just sitting out on my, out on my deck. Uh, laying down flat on the ground. And that's clearly not making the, uh, the ideal amount of power for me anymore. I don't think it ever was, but now it's really not because the days are getting shorter and shorter. So if you found this video interesting and if you learned something, uh, click the like button down below and thanks for watching and please subscribe.